Hello and welcome. My name is Kaylee Joe, and I make content all about my experiences as a theater educator and welcome to Musical Monday where I take a few minutes every Monday to share a little bit of background information on a musical title and this week we are talking about a show that is regarded as one of the most iconic musicals of all time and that is Singing in the Rain. So make sure you check out the links in the description box down below for some great clips of this show. Singing in the Rain is a musical comedy starring Gene Kelly, Donald O'Connor, and Debbie Reynolds that premiered in 1952. Funny enough, it would take another 30 years before the musical was transferred to the stage whenever it premiered at the London Palladium in 1983. It would take another couple of years before the show would actually make it to Broadway, where it would receive two Tony Award nominations, although unfortunately it did not bring home any wins. Since its premiere, the show has seen multiple revivals and national tours, and today it is available for schools and community theater groups to perform, and there is also a junior version for younger performers. Adapted from the 1952 movie of the same name, the plot closely adheres to that original film. It is set in Hollywood during those final days of the silent film era and focuses around four characters. We have Don Lockwood, the dashing actor, his leading lady, Lena Lamont, his best friend and composer, Cosmo Brown, and an aspiring actress named Kathy Selden. In the story, we are at this point in history where up until now, all films have been silent films, meaning you can't actually hear anybody talking. There's just music that plays over the entire film, and then they might pop up an occasional dialogue card to let you know what someone is saying. This is because they simply didn't have the technology to record sound that would align with what they were filming. That is, until talkies came around. And this is what happens during Singing in the Rain, which greatly impacts our actors, Dawn and Lena. Talkies suddenly become the future of cinema, and this means that Dawn and Lena are no longer silent film actors. They are actors who also have to speak and even sing. Now, Dawn handles this transition very well, but Lena is not so lucky. Everybody's picking on me! This leads the studio to bring in Kathy Selden, an aspiring actress with a beautiful talking and singing voice. She does all of the voice work for Lena in their upcoming film. Dawn and Kathy start to develop romantic feelings for one another, and Lena makes it her mission to stop Kathy at all costs. Overall, this really is a classic, heartwarming musical comedy with plenty of songs the audience goers are sure to recognize and love. The film is incredibly well known for having a scene where the lead character, Don Lockwood, actually sings in the rain. Of course, this isn't very easy to make happen on stage, but every single stage production since that premiere in 1983 has been able to actually make it rain water on stage at the end of Act 1. Audience goers expect to see some kind of rain during the title song at the end of Act 1. So my question for you this week is if you were staging a production of Singing in the Rain, how would you safely create a rain effect on stage without the use of actual water? Please feel free to put all of your thoughts in the comments down below. That is all for this week's Musical Monday. Thank you so much for watching and as always, break a leg.